Welcome to the real world. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Um, let me say this first is, yeah, uh, I'm sorry I didn't post any of this like recently. I actually thought I recorded a second episode and posted it a couple weeks ago, but as it turns out, I didn't, or at least more recently, I thought I did. So yeah, this is the second episode. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the first episode I did was, well, all this that you see right here, which was tips and tricks on redstone for, like, basically how it works. Oh, and I also fixed the uh, item filter in the last episode that I had posted in a like item filter tutorial. So yeah, here's actually a, a tip that I didn't post or like put in there, but I should have is that every single torch you have like in a line like this, how it deactivates and activates is the equivalent of a repeater with no ticks on it. And I have six repeaters, no ticks and six torches. And when I press this button, they both go off and on at the same time. Oh yeah. And powering into a stone like that, you don't need a repeater as long as the redstone dust doesn't have anything right here or here. <clears throat> it will power that and deactivate and cause a chain of reaction. Oh yeah, another thing. I'm going to grab a slab. And a... There's some redstone dust. And glowstone. There, actually, and there's another thing. Uh, this isn't redstone. This is just something... Oh, never mind. I forgot. That's 1.9. The door part. But yeah, uh, if you have slabs... Like upper slabs like this. Here, let me try to break all this. There we go. All right. Say we have redstone like this. I could essentially hook it up like this, and it would still work. You can see the particle effects and everything. <coughs> also, and uh, hold on, one moment. All right, there we go. Yeah, I had to mess with that. My draw was getting messy. All right, uh. You notice how the only way I was able to do that, like up blocks, is with that. But if you have glowstone dust, uh, put redstone dust there, then do this. Even though it shows a single piece of redstone dust, that doesn't mean it stops there. I'm going to grab a button, and I guess this up oh, didn't mean to grab the brick. Oh well, that'll still work. And I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put the button there, and then I'm going to grab this lamp, and I'm going to stick that right here on the edge of that. And when I push this button, it goes up the glowstone. By the way, you cannot bring this down. It can only go up. Those are just a couple of tips from the, like, that should have been in the last one, but they are now officially in my videos. So, yeah, those are, like, neat tips. Here's another, now, here's a build. I grabbed some of the materials and I made a pre-made, like, very, very basic room with six numbers on it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, as seen, uh, said by the signs. I'm actually going to show you making a very simple combination lock. And it's very simple. Uh, all you're going to want to do is, like, do what I'm doing right here. Uh, like, have obviously a different kind of block, like, that you can tell the difference between the wall, or at least while making it do that and and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just power that out so when they press the button it's going to hit this oh yeah actually before I do that uh, I'm gonna show you something I didn't make this in the last video but this is something I use in almost every build or at least I didn't see it anywhere in there so unless unless I broke it I didn't make it it's called a T flop T flip flop and I can't believe I didn't make it. Uh, supposedly, this only works if it's facing the right direction. That's something I have never encountered. But if you make this right here, or basically, I'm floating this, making this in creative so I can float. You wouldn't be able to, most likely. But you put torches like this, and then redstone dust, and then you just pull that out. Apply a signal. See how that piston is not powered, and that one is. By the way, sticky works. It's actually, no, hold on. Not sticky. You don't need sticky. It's supposed to be regular. Let me just replace those. Uh, I like completely forgot about that. Deep. Oh, that was mean. All right. Uh, yeah. You're supposed to use regular pistons because sticky will mess with it. And you push that button. 
And now that piston has pushed that one. Push it again. And now it's reversed. And I'm just going to pull this right here. You would normally have redstone signal. Oh, yeah, right there. And it's only going to activate when that block is right over. So when I push this one more time, now the power is suddenly signaled. Push the power or push the button. And now it's off. And that's how a lot of my redstone contraptions work that are, uh, well, essentially traps, uh, one time pushes, and all that. In this case, it's going to be a combination lock. Which, now that I have dragged out these, I'm going to drag this one out. This is just how I like to build mine, is I'm going to drag that one out. And I'm going to drag this one only that far. Well, hold on, actually not that far. Drag this one just a little bit farther. This is just so the redstone wiring is not going to be in the way for what we're about to do. I'm going to drag this one out, and it's going to stop there. But this one's going to go all the way over here. Actually, that one's going to stop. See, this is what I don't like about building some of these, because they're, like, in each other's way, but not always. So you got to be careful where you build it. But since I'm in creative mode, I could just fly around, build it way out here. And there we go. Now I have, like, six prongs sticking out at random spots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that they're all within the, uh, <clears throat> the 15 mark. See how that one was, like, 13 or 14? It's just in case, put that there. Just having a tiny bit of timer on that won't even hurt the connection. Uh, it just ensures that it's going to reach. So what I like to do when I'm making bigger ones, like, uh, I don't, most of the people who are watching this have seen my, or played with me on Xbox. I have a 22 lock combination on my adventure map that I'm working on. <clears throat> and it is a very, very advanced version of this. Much more clean, by the way. Because I had a much larger space. But this is what I had. Essentially. And I'm going to connect all this. And I'll be right back. Alright, now I'm going to show me attaching a... Well, a T flip flop. Which, also, if anybody's curious. I did not come up with the T flip flop design. I got that from a YouTuber called Nims TV. That's where I got it. but And it's just stuck with me. And I use it in a lot of builds. It's very simple and handy. I do, and I have no idea why I added that there. Alright, um, redstone torches. Uh, let's see here. Solid block. <clears throat> oh, and uh, there's another thing, which I don't usually do with my builds. Uh, I rarely do it anyway. Is Oh, that's a glitch. Alright. Is... When what I what you should do when using bigger wire things is you should use colored wool to signify different wires, kind of, which is what I'm using on the trap that I'm making on an adventure map. I have I think four or five or actually yeah six different colors I think of wool just going everywhere. All right, now we just add a block there on top of my brick wall. All right, and what you're gonna do or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this. And I'm going to put all six of these on. And I'll be right back. Alright, so yeah, I attached the T flip flops, which by the way, I moved that one over there so it's out of the way. And yeah, now that we have this, we can, well, do the, actually the simplest part ever. We are going to make a line. This is the, well, really this part, by the way, is going to be, it's going to vary on your world. Uh, or in all the conditions and all that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make something simple like this. Um, since we have six buttons, I'm going to put six torches on here. And these are going to count as our, uh, what would it be called? Our connection, or like combination lock check. And we're just going to put a solid block above here and put redstone on top. Now here's the thing, uh, this is a tip on this, is in order for this to work properly, the farthest away torch must be at least 15 blocks uh, to your uh, connector area. Because, well basically that means you're only allowed a maximum of 7 torches per connection. And I'm going to have it come out this side, we have 6, so we have 12 and 13, 14. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a repeater back here. And that's going to be how our connection gets extended. 
Alright, and here's another thing. Um, if you're going to use, like, I doubt many of you are going to do this, whoever see this. But if you're going to do, like, a 22 lock combination, here, I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm not going to physically show it. But what I did was I took this, I put another one here in reverse. Then I had a second layer on top. I connected both the layers. So that way, if both layers are true, then what we're about to do is going to work. And that's basically how that works. All right, now with this connection right here, what we're going to do is, which by the way, those aren't connected yet. But we're just going to set this up first. Is we're going to drag this connection out for however far, which by the way, this is supposed to be powered when it's off. Kind of reverse-y, but yeah. Uh, let's like try to keep that away from all that. Alright, let's make sure it's all still powered. I'm not even going to bother counting. I'm just going to go by like, okay, colors, go ahead and dim. Let's do that. Alright. And, so yeah, like I said though, this is going to vary for everybody. Unless you just happen to want to rebuild block by block what I did. Alright, say we want a magical piston door. And say that we want the pistons to extend for some odd reason. What we're going to have to have is a block here with a torch on it. And we're going to bring this down to our level. And we're going to just attach a redstone signal to it. And oh, if I could just go in the air. Yeah, it ran out of signal. Alright, there we go. And now it's deactivated. Your combination lock system is now active but not attached to anything. And how you want to do this is you're going to want to take this right here, this torch, and attach a block. As long as there's a solid block, it should get connection. And you're going to drag it over to its respective place. In my case, it'll be right here. We want to make sure the signal hits the block underneath the torch. That way it deactivates. And just drag this over. I think that's 15. Alright, yeah, and the, it's best to have it set up where you see if the connection shuts off first. So, like, this one is the 6 button. I'm going to press that real quick. You want to make sure all these are turned on, as if the whole lock is going to, like, deactivate and unlock the room. Oh, and yeah, you're going to want to avoid stuff like that situation. I don't even know why I had that there. But yeah, alright, we're going to break, bring this over to here. Now, that one's deactivated. Okay, and we're going, we have a third one right here, we're just going to bring that over to this one. Yeah, that won't, that won't affect that at all. And we're going to press that button. I think, like, most of them are deactivated on my side. From, like, messing with the buttons. Alright, I'm going to connect all these and I'll be right back. Okay, I have connected everything, and actually this is a good thing. Uh, that I actually encountered this problem is I didn't have enough room here. Well, in my case, I was able, I had to drag all, or like these two over here and just drag them to the back. That may, that actually will probably happen while making this. If you build this this close to your closest one, in my case, I did. And that became the issue, but now it's fixed. Now you'll see our, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, fail. Gotta attach a redstone dust to that torch. There we go, now pistons have deactivated. And now you have a lock, and it's set up, but you don't have a combination. Well, it's this simple. I'm gonna put one. I'm just gonna put odd numbers, and now it's deactivated. Now, if you try to push any of the uh, like this number, like if you try pushing the even numbers, nothing's gonna happen. I push them again. Nothing's gonna happen. But if I push the odd numbers, which by the way, it doesn't matter the order as long as you get it with this. Boom your lock activates so yeah that is the lock combination um, if you guys would like help with this on a world let me know I can get on the Xbox 360 and Xbox one to work on those also if you're playing a server I can get on and help with that too if you'd like it's pretty simple it just can be kind of consumed just because of like that back part right there but, yeah so that's the end of the redstone part of oh wait no hold on there's actually one more thing is a mechanic I did show the filter there but I didn't show how it works um, this is how uh, comparators work what you want to do is you want the part that's getting the signal is the individual part and the part that is receiving signal 
is these, uh, this double part right here. And you don't have to have a hopper facing in, but it's going to look. Here, I'm just going to put a chest right here. I'm just going to throw something in. And as you see, it has power. And if I attach a repeater, it has power there. And if I take something out, that's why the hopper thing works. If you have any, if like the moment something goes in, it sends signal. But notice, oh wait, hold on, let me actually, it's probably best if I use redstone dust. See how it's one signal? If I do something like, hold on, actually I need stacks, not that. Alright. I'm going to just grab stack junk blocks. And I throw a stack in. Now you notice the signal is stronger. Um, also how the filter works is it looks for a certain amount of items. That's how it precisely works with filtering too. So yeah, that's just the quick mechanic with comparators for anybody who's like not 100% certain how it works. Which I can do, I'll probably be doing more stuff with that later. But yeah, that's the end of the that. I'm just going to screw around with this now. With my epic pokey incendiary so, uh, cutter. Which I know I misspelled cutter. I ended up spelling cuter. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's the end of the video. I'm just gonna, like, slay a bunch of zombie pigmen with a looting 1000 sword. Because I don't really care. This is gonna be so laggy. Well, alright, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys would like to see me do next, like a redstone build or something. I'll gladly build it in the next episode. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.